What's up guys? This is the Roseman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So the round of where we left off, we are still holding out um, in Serbia and I should also mention this is going to be an hour special. Um, yes, we are holding out in Serbia against continued Austrian assaults. So without further ado, let us fight on. So the enemy definitely has a infantry advantage, so I'm probably going to want to spread my guns out even more. So usually I normally go for two sets of two units of artillery. Um, but I'm probably going to want to spread that out to maybe just individual gun pairs, individual gun like formations along my line in order to make sure I maximise my, my, maximize my uh, artillery support. So rather than having one strong battery, I would put, say, one unit, two units of infantry, another unit. Then let's take... Uh, maybe not my weakest unit in Feline. Let's get my Janissary Musketeers and my Feline. Probably something like this. Makes a bit more sense. So let's group my camels and cavalry. Some units on one flank, cavalry on another flank. Let's put some bashies. here to defend the line and I'm probably going to want a unit of something to push one of the flanks. General in the centre. Oh dang it, I left a gun unit behind. But actually that's not too terrible. So let's Just my line. I do see a cavalry charge. So, go go gadget camels first. Suck them in. Go 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 gadget cavalry, and then let's also have my melee infantry nearby to hop in. Turn off fire at will. So I'm allowing my camels to do a lot of work. But we have drawn in a whole bunch of enemy cavalry into one engagement, which we should win. This is Halt Hausar and the Regiment Kaiser. Which I suppose is going to be these guys with the blue. Yeah. Turn on fire rank and just hope they fire at the uh, warband and not the combat here. Okay, let's turn fire will off again. Sorry, Lancers. Not only are you now in an engagement, in a slog fight. You're now in a slog fight. Uh, with melee infantry. We're going to blast those pikemen. This unit back here. It's going to unlimber now. Yes, draw more cavalry into the maelstrom. Throwing grenadiers and Swiss pikemen, so that's a bit of a concern. Let's pull my Mamelukes out. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's try to work some magic. On this other flank. Let's take my Mamelukes out to charge into the rear of the pikemen. Everyone else we should deal with pretty comprehensively. Pikemen have engaged the line. Bring the cavalry in. Bring in some bashies. So before you get caught up by the Swiss grenadiers. You charge the foot guards. My bashy bazooks have got involved. You mow down the marines. Pull my camel nomads out, pull my mamelukes out because they're losing a lot of men. I've lost all my gun teams, but that's okay. Pull my cavalry back. Let's go hit. I don't know, what's a good target? Sending the Swiss Grenadiers into this battle. So I'm, really, I'm relying on my Riskers of, Sol Risk of Souls and whatnot to uh, hold it together. general can start to chase start to hunt down some of these routing units so I'm going to want to do something like this yeah my mammal loops over there have got upset but their job is just to hold my camels out of there. Let's run my troops up. Let's march my bashies up. In you guys go. Yeah, the pikemen are doing good work. Which is concerning, but this is why we are maneuvering our positions, maneuvering our troops around. You may even be able to fire into that formation. Yeah, I think you can actually, because that's all bad guys around here. I charge the Mamelukes into this regiment of foot. Hopefully they can knock them out. Stars have routed, the lances are routed, so now it's just a. Okay, now you guys can get involved, charge the rear of this bunch of troops. Good, you chase them down. start to work my men across. You can see they're starting to break in the combat. 
We're chipping away at their grenadiers. They do not want the fight. All my artillery is currently not really doing anything. Just shoot the 4th Regiment of Militia. So they've a, well, some of their men are charging out, but let's see if the 14th Auto are going to pour some into their formation, and they've decided they've had enough. Charge! We must protect the Bashis. We must protect our melee infantry, but let's hold fire with our artillery. Just get people involved. Yeah, the Grand are winning decisively, but there's not that many of them. Swiss pikemen starting to go down. Oh, well, there we go, they've had enough. Yeah, we're going to continue. But let's go with General over here to ignore the line infantry because they're not a massive concern. Camels are going to have a fun with the line infantry. You guys just form a line, don't kill each other. So let's probably take out this unit of line infantry. Let's bring in my Mamelukes that are all the way over here. Camels knocked out the uh, Swiss Guard. These guys are probably going to rout before we can get to them, but we've got to try. The generals are in a great time against this infantry unit. So Serbia needs desperate reinforcements. So we're going to speed up the advancement of troops from Greece up to Serbia to provide support. Yeah, my camel's are actually going to... No, he's going to get away. <laughs> Damn. Close victory, it was quite close. Our armies were depleted. Yeah, that's expensive. We killed them. We killed them. They died twice as hard as us. But the key is now, if someone else arrives we will be in a bit of a pickle. But no one is going to arrive, which is lovely. But it does kind of highlight that we need... We do need those, like, resupply columns marching up behind uh, the line to help deal with max stacks, because we know that we can't actually deal with them ourselves. So it won't be a case of me sending an army off to go fight. It'll be sending an army plus probably half a stack of troops <laughs> just to swell their ranks. Uh, they demand an alliance. No. Although that may actually be worthwhile as a hedge against uh, Prussia, but I suspect they would decide to abandon us against Prussia anyway. I'm 
good old Crimean Carne seeing the Russians off of their land. So come on, make it my turn. I want to do something. Good. So you're just going to sit there being you. But first of all, oh great, get your replenishment on. Let's march up some Israeli support. You need to get a military academy. So can I get... So proper... Uh, Nizam said it infantry I need to I need to build yeah there we go I need to build uh, the army Vizierate in order to get the next level um, you know proper <laughs> European style Ottoman infantry so you try try kill the general nope he was spotted let's so build the farm let's pick up pick up the high porte Jaw just waiting. So it's, I'm going to upgrade the Turkish bath. So this is, yeah, this is a relief column I'm trying to put together. We've got grenadiers, and we've got the option of musketeers. So we're already recruiting some musketeers. Let's recruit some grenadiers, and let's get new roads new roads uh, advanced roads is a good idea in order to allow us to march up our troops quicker do a bit of replenishment okay so this army here is a pretty poor army so let's bring in Ahmed City into the mix They've got a weak reinforcement coming in. Um, but that shouldn't be a problem. Let's take him out. This is one of our newly built armies. Giving them their first taste of action. So let's put together. Let's keep our foot artillery separate because they are already. We already do not have that much of them. Let's have an Israeli. Oh, maybe spread the 18 pounders out. So you want an Israeli center. And the flanks are going to be backed up by Janissary Grenadiers and Janissary Riflemen. Probably with their own Semat Janissary support. In case of charges. Oh, then again. I suppose actually, would it be better to put. That's on my riflemen, my Janissary musketeers out on the flank. But if I'm anticipating cavalry, then they should have pikemen instead. And then. Yeah, so you join this formation, but then the Semat Janissaries, they go in the centre to respond to any infantry attacks. Keep a howitzers in formation, and let's go check out our Royal Mameluke Guards that look a lot like just Mamelukes. But that's what we need. Pretty good stats. They're the most fearless light horsemen of the Ottoman Empire. So I could probably, well I will, uh, augment them with some armoured cavalry when the time comes. Oh damn, they're actually right there. Foot of howitzers and limber. Well, uh, uh, how it's, yeah, how it's a number. They won't really want to charge these form these corner formations with my pikes. Okay, other formation.
Move general up and move uh, my cav. So they are pounding us, but we've got our howitzers giving them some return fire. Probably best to specifically target. Pikemen with carcass shots. And. Should go for this 28 foot. Carcass shot inbound. There we go. A hit, a fine hit. Let's run them up the last bit. Still wanted to get this within musket range of the artillery. back. Got some irregulars. Don't want to lose cavalry to uh, to any silly mistakes. So here come the howitzers and they've missed. So you want to go to our foot artillery as soon as it's in position and then unlimber. Last and canister shot. Intercept the general. There we go. So we've got to deploy our cavalry. We're going to leave these men a bit free and exposed, but I think if we. Why am I so much Janissaries wavering? Charge the pikemen in the centre, you guys form up, pick new targets, like the artillery to the rear. Pokemon out this direction. Janice Rifleman, get back in formation. You guys hit the general. Royal Mamluk guards. You can chase them down, but be careful because they are. Semit Janissaries fall back. Do still have a cover unit back here? So you're going to start lobbing round shot in because the, we're going to start pushing in through the trees. Lobbing in around shots. And start pushing in. You guys just start hammering into whoever you can find on the flank. And my general back into the mix. Provincial cavalry right at the back. No, oh, these are reinforcements, aren't they? Yeah. The AI is completely fallen. 
It's a rally line. Advance. Grenadiers and riflemen advance. Push the Samat Janissaries up as well. Well, actually, it looks like we could completely forgot about a few of uh, a few bad guys. Take him out, pikemen. Back out to find round shot, but it doesn't matter, so let's get our. Ah, they charge my guns. Clever of them. Send my janissaries to take care of them. Pull my general back so he doesn't kill too many of my own guys. Push my Sorelli up. Because these are only carabiners, so my general. my pikemen are more than enough to deal with them. No, not you. Sorry, fella. Cavalry. You walk. This move tree can run. Rifleman can pop some shots off at max range. Yeah, I was wondering if you would charge straight into my guys. And if you, you know, although you have, that's okay. Good. Get my cavalry back. My pikemen are gonna have a great time against this cavalry. So much so, I'm not even bothered about charging them into mine, my cavalry into them. Move my cavalry into intercept. These guys, when they finally had enough. Yeah, there they go. Oh, come on, you can you can kill them. Oops. Yeah, we want to continue. Smash them. Stop our riflemen from engaging. Before they cause us some friendly fire casualties. When these guys are in formation, the firing range will change. No, report. To be honest, all of you. Take him out. The 
any Austrian soldier that comes into our land will remember the slaughter of this day. That wasn't close. It was a good proper scrap though. I like that. And that's more the ratio I want to talk about. We could probably do with... Uh, okay, you guys. Replenish with what you can. You men move up and hit Gundaka Orcs. Oh, that army's been destroyed. Good. This guy may instead go right and hold position there against any potential invaders that might come through the gap here. While the remaining two armies, they will push up. Don't worry, Venice, you'll get yours. Okie dokie, so tech. Tech development is okay. Let's check. Obviously, I'm building up a grand navy. So let's take a fourth rate out of this fleet and replace it with a first, second rate ship of the line. Oh, I didn't even. Right. Get you guys back into Anata. Anna, Anna. This place. Check my ministers for any good ones. Plus one zero, minus five percent religious unrest. Okay, you. Uh, okay, I might swap just to get rid of the clamor for reform. Because that should help. New nation arises, the Barbary states. Good! Diplomacy, minor nations, Barbary states. Yeah, have military access. You're my protectorate. Why should I be afraid of you? Oh, and I forgot the Kremlin incarnate came back. Why do you not want to trade? They don't want to trade with their protecting kingdom. Let's trade with Mysore. Let's try again with Afghanistan. Good. I have no I have no interest to fight you, Afghanistan. We are a lovely, praised empire. Yay. Yeah, we're getting up there. On the prestige rankings, obviously Russia's a bit spooky with its, with its military. But a few good battles on that, I'll take care of them. So let's have a look at Skopje. Skopje, Skopje. Good, two turns till it gets upgraded. You're moving up. So this priest, you come over here. Not priest. Assassin. Assassino. Craft workshops is a bad idea here. I think I kind of need to, need to just keep rolling forward with the madrasas. Like, I don't mind the second building I build be a craft workshop. But I need my religious apostles to go out there and spread the Islamic word. So let's check out Denmark to make sure there's... They're not allied with anyone, they're a protector of Dagestan. Which we'll have to deal with eventually. But let's hit end turn. Here comes one of my priests, and there goes another of my assassins. Good. We don't want your Catholicism down here, Austria. The Ottomans are coming, and we're mad. So I think I should probably build up a small fleet in the Gulf, because if I declare on... Oh, they demand infinite, in, indefinite military access. No. And no new model bayonet drill for you either. Hmm, the Russians are sending a navy. How quaint.
No, don't knock out the the Crimean Khanate. We've only just made friends. <laughs> we just started trading. Yeah, the Moroccans return. To be honest, it's an, it's an interesting opportunity actually going to war with Venice, because I think that also means they've left Tunis unguarded. Or Tunis is able to be attacked, because it's Venice. Or is it Britain? They sabotaged a farm. Yeah, Tunis is Venice. Diplomacy, Barbary States, Tech, Offer. I suppose they can't take advantage of anything else. Offer common land enclosures. Just give it to them. They are enemies with anyone, with everyone. Okay, let's check Dagestan. So protectors of Plains nations don't care. Pueblo nations don't care. Knights of St. John. Yes. Savoy. Yes, we do care. Italian states, we do care. Denmark, we don't. Morocco, we do, kind of. Mosul, we don't. Inuit nations, we don't. Um. Yeah, I don't know if I want to kick off with all of the northern Italian states yet. So we've gained another second rate. Ship of the line. Let's drop this galley up here instead. Because so if I do want to base out of Greece, then I don't really need a... I don't need a... Uh, military force here. I might put my Semenes in there so I can leave the port with my army but it not be unguarded. Might not be a bad idea to do here either. Okay. So we've got our first first rate ships of the line. I don't think I need, a, need a, this ship anywhere in particular. They're going to hold though because Varna's probably going to grow. 18 turns, yeah. Let's build a first rate ship of the line. In fact, let's build a first and another second. Maybe two seconds. No, first and a second. Because we do need to keep upgrading our, in, our uh, economic infrastructure. Ooh, Com has become a new building. You don't need to become a happiness building because we already have two. You can become a craft workshop. And the extra money we could spend on fixing this army here. There's no point trying to kill him, he's really quite potent. So I'm out with Poland, but I'm not at war with Prussia. And do we want to be at war with Prussia? It would it would help ease the uh, targeting solution a bit. Because rather than pushing up just here, I could... But then again, the Caucasus shield me quite a lot. Hmm. I'm not quite sure. Let's march you guys out nearby. You guys can't really do any replenishment, but let's do some old school replenishment. There we go, so then these two men can join in. Good stuff. One more turn till we get uh, punch card looms, and then a couple of turns till we get some other bits and bobs. Actually, who's Prussia at? Who's Prussia allied with? Austria, Sweden, Britain, and the Mughal Empire. So if we declare on them, this, this might all kick off. In which case then, let's infiltrate their major towns on the border. Strategically, Afghanistan may be a good capture in order to try and gain gain position over this over this river. 
But I don't want to cause any problems yet. So I should start to build a navy here and upgrade the shipyard. Here come the Austrians again. Look at that. <laughs> of all the ways they could have gone, or maybe should have gone, they decided to run around and get into a position to raid against my troops. How frustrating. <clears throat> the Prussians, well, the Prussians have Paris. Uh, no, Russia. I'm not going to give you any naval techs, thank you. Especially now they're going to dump a fleet into the Black Sea. Ooh, and pick up, a na pick up an army. I do not want to increase your uh, speed and range. Let's check out that fleet and see if it's a fleet we would like to destroy. particularly don't want to fight the Mughal Empire uh, without quicklime. That would be very, very risky. Okay, I'm going to leave that clearance is broken. So I need to put a gunnery school. I'm sure we, we built it. I know, I need reorganised procurement. Good, you can become a... Um, happiness building to offset the presence of the school. Tech advance. Punch card loom has become powered loom. Poland has been destroyed. Upgrade the dockyard and recruit a fifth rate just to sit in there. And let's just do some upgrading of stuff we need to upgrade. Good. These guys are going to march back and just auto-resolve against Ludwig. We do not deserve to lose by that much, but whatever. That's what happens when I get lazy. So. I'm not quite so sure I like this thin axis of advance up into Austrian territory. That provides us a big border to uh, to cause problems with. And I really don't want to declare war on the Mughal Empire. But I'm afraid I may have to. No. No military access for you. So there goes the Crimean Khanate. As is tradition. Good. Now your navy, you go back. Oh, no, I thought they might go back up to the, the Black Sea or the Balt... Not the Black Sea. The North Sea or the, the Baltics where they belong, but apparently not. Louisiana's struggling. And the Moroccans return. But yeah, I don't want to declare on the Mughals until I have quicklime, because I need it. And I also need to uh, strengthen the army I have in the south. Anyway. Because as it, as it stands, it's got lots of... Uh, oh... Okay, Afghanistan, if that's what you want. Let's force the Zahedan. March up to Kabul. Take him out. Successful missions. We've infiltrated Lahore, which is a big one to get because it's got a lot of military production. Crimean Khanate's been destroyed. We've got reorganised procurement, which means we can get 
gunnery school. So let's build a few gunnery schools while they're in my mind nearer the front just to increase artillery procurement. Trade agreement with Afghanistan cancelled. <gasps> Alliance broken with Prussia and the Mughal Empire. Alliance broken with Russia and Sweden. Prussia and Britain. Russia and Austria. Okay. This is the perfect time, I think, to strike. Because we can launch an attack on our enemies. And Prussia is now diplomatically isolated. Allied with Austria, Württemberg and Sweden. Sweden is penned in up here. Württemberg has no borders, so they may launch an army. Prussia, very friendly. Okay, hold on, before I, before I do that. Too late. Already cancelled it. March these armies up. Make sure I spend money replenishing them. Or do I just launch my attack overseas? Not overseas, but you, you know what I mean. Not you to a commercial basin yet. First race ship of the line, the Ottomans, the first of its kind. So let's start to trade out some fourth rates. Or maybe two fourth rates and a fifth. Swap those chaps out. I could probably do with some thirds, realistically. Let's build an, a first and then a third to balance the fleet a bit. And then let's go to Istanbul and build the next gen military building to get us Nizam Nizam I said it infantry. Good. Prussia and Russia are at war. That's why they lost a that's why they both lost a bunch of allies. Some good upgrades there. Ship report, ship upgrades, Rumelia's got another. It's got a supporting our uh, reinforcing army is up, so let's move them up to the border here. Armchair General. Okay, good. I think the seeds of conflict are sown. Hey, they've gone in and tried to attack Belgrade. Uh, yeah, you're mostly replenished. Our infantry's in good shape. Uh, let's see them off. Let's get ready. It would be nice to have more... more solid European-style infantry for the Ottomans. It's already a good, but they're not great... Okay, we want to deploy back, especially as we get the advantage of a slope here. Three Sereni in the centre. I'm probably I'm going to want to have them behind. Oh, they can't put defences. Fab. So. Israeli and Grenadier. Okay. Grenadier behind a little barricade. Whoop. Good to sneeze. And I'm back. Um, so these guys are in position. Strong unit of cavalry. Can they hide in these trees? Probably not. Let's give them a Felaine because they're also a bit handicapped, whereas on the other flank you've got an Israeli unit and a Janissary unit. These guys can have cavalry spikes. Let's 
so let's just start dotting some of our melee infantry around bearing in mind that we've got a very weak unit of uh, very weak unit of Felayin. come at us fellas we've got some artillery just desperate to meet you and I know you have as well um, but that will be our first target, or one of our first targets. God, even the misses have done us some good damage. Damn. If we got them a bit earlier, that, that would have been a gun team destroyed. So. I'm going to speed up time a little bit. Yeah, they've got their own artillery, but they look like they want to go for my mama looks. Let's drop them back a little bit because okay, so now they're targeting my risks of souls at the back but in the good note they are all marching forward in an attempt to try and kill us which gives us an opportunity, well, depending on what the carabiners do, to push up. But let's take this set of guns and let's get them to engage the grenadiers that are pushing up to our line. Although I think these guys are probably good enough. I will turn off the uh, increased speed. Okay. It's got engineers, Hungarian grenadiers, Swiss grenadiers, militia. Okay, let's pivot this infantry. Bearing in mind their cavalry is advancing, so let's push ours up with a unit of melee infantry. Grenadiers are shaking, I can understand that. Here we go. Now we're getting into a position where there's a lot of There's a lot of troops. Hit the light horse. No, oh, no, they're routing. Okay, I'm, I'm happy to let them route. Well, not route, but, you know, fall back. So I can push my infantry up, get some more flanking shots, which means I can divert artillery firepower to other units. I'm making a strong push for our centre. With a very solid core of elite troops. See if you fellas can reload before they get into the line. Damn. Made it to our lines, so... Deploy the Bashi Bazooks. Boy, the whiskers of souls. So they've not left their artillery completely unprotected, but they've left it unprotected enough for me to feel happy trotting weaker cavalry up there to take them out. Make sure you kill any easy, cav easy uh, enemies that are in our grasp. Good, then push on. Mm -hmm. 
carabiners into set, my cavalry to set the carabiners so I can get my camel nomads into the mix. Push my troops up. Let's go after their gunners. My camels here should have a great time against these carabiners. Everyone else is uh, doing work. Good. I go after the first regiment. Bring my general out. To come chase down some of these enemies. Get my cavalry to run on. Same with my camels, because they're about to be targeted by a volley from the 14th. so determined so determined to kill my troops to kill my cavalry that they're going to uh, abandon all effort to try and actually fight my troops which makes sense because ultimately we know they can't compete Pivot. This is a rail unit to come support my grenadiers. Push my main line up. Get my general and my camels in, ready to attack another position. Let's retarget my artillery, although the Gren Hungarian grenadiers are probably not going to last very long. There we go. Run them down. Get my get my general into the mix. I think it's probably going to be it very soon. Yep, there it goes. Speed up time. Hell yeah, we're going to continue. So let's go knock out their guards with my general. They're just after militia, they're after garrison guards. So my dudes over here have their work cut out for them. My generals is up to the uh, challenge. I think he's going to be the first unit to kill. The unit he needs to kill, send him up after unit of Hungarian Grenadiers, same with my camels. I think that Riskers of Souls is going to get... Get out of the way! Good, you kill the militia, you, you, you're so close to knocking out this garrison guard unit. Good. Go up there against the Hungarian Grenadiers because I'm not so bothered about killing this militia unit. Whereas everyone always has an appetite for routing grenadiers. <laughs> I 
Oh, they've routed, so it's everyone. Everyone on the Grenadiers. Take them out, fellas. They're so delicious and yummy. Take them out. Take them out, take them out, take them out. Get them. Close victory indeed. We repulsed them severely. Look at that. 516 lost to, to nearly 2,000 of theirs. Mamluks did great, obviously. So did my Sareli. Mamluks. God. Yeah. Mamluks just good cavalry, man. So I definitely will want to take Malta at some point. <laughs> um, to act as a forward base. In the Western Mediterranean. We may even start to recruit another army in maybe Cairo in order to achieve it. That way I can base a, a navy further off to the west. <laughs> you want to be friends, don't you? Nope. You're at war with Russia and I see it as an opportunity A to take your territory and B, they demand Georgia. They will give me Astrakhan. Why would I want Astrakhan? Why would I break up the integrity of my empire? No. I don't believe you. <laughs> Morocco. So I think I'm gonna be I'm gonna I'm gonna be in a good position where I'm gonna have a top tier um, fleet with first, seconds, thirds, and fourths, and then I'm gonna have a second fleet which is gonna have fourths and fifths in it. I think. Got another Hashashin in Persia. Just keep infiltrating them, I suppose. You can keep marching on to Afghanistan. Got lots of upgrades here. Let's upgrade a new military building in Baghdad. I didn't build a flagship, did I? No, good. So let's just get another third rate on the go. You're still replenishing it barely. You could really do with some better troops. So it's three turns till we get better Nizam Sedit infantry. But mainly, we well, yeah, need to get rid of, need to replace that Felain, really. It's only, it's just, it is just the one Felain, so I'm going to get a. Janistry Musketeer unit to march up there. Um, even then, I might just drag out an order from the resupply column. Let's take... Let's not get rid of the Feline, because they've fought for us and given us proud service. Instead, let's send him down to Greece to act as a garrison. And let's also upgrade the town here. Okay. Let's keep the roads upgraded. As we advance in, we need to make sure that we're in a position to uh, keep advancing our troops. So we've got a reformed naval administration, which is good. Which means we can upgrade the naval college. I'm content to let Kaiseri continue to go down the route they're on. You're doing power looms, but that's quite expensive. I mean, I'm waiting for my fun university to get upgraded. Let's get power looms. And we've got a couple of turns before we get the next level industry building. Corlin's been destroyed. 
Yeah, pressure took him out. You go try and infiltrate Brandenburg. Some upgrades in Bulgaria and Rumelia. Um, but looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Sorry, nothing too major has happened this turn, but we're just building building the foundations for a fantastic attack on the Western world. And I am looking at you, Malta, as well. Radio. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.